assalamu alaikum welcome back to my youtube channel it's rani here how are you guys doing i hope you're all doing well alhamdulillah i'm good today i thought i quickly share you my a uh, dish which is um dimbuna and i'm just going to share it the way i cook it i know everyone cooks it differently i've got it all ready to fry so i've just basically uh, peeled the eggs and then just scored it with the knife as you can see the lines so that um, the masala goes inside and it gets cooked properly and I've just um, kind of um, mixed it with a um, bit of turmeric yeah that's turmeric powder and some people they don't really add um, potatoes I do because my kids love potatoes so it's potatoes and eggs today so we're going to start with like so on this plate as you can see i've got all the ingredients very simple and very easy ingredients as you can see my onions are all um, chopped and done into small pieces there so that's two onions there probably um, i've used the grater for this one this dish so i've grated uh, two onions and then here i've got garlic and ginger so about one piece little piece of ginger and then about five cloves of garlic and then I've got jeera seeds this is optional not everybody uses it but I like to put it in in my dishes like I said it's optional you don't have to put this but this is jeera seeds over there I've got one chili chopped then I've got cardamom um, cardamom ilachi they call it in Asian in our language and then I've got cinnamon sticks three and I've got bay leaves one which I've um, one and a half sorry these are optional but I like to put it in my dish and then I've got one um, tomato chopped up into little pieces and we've got the pan ready here so we're gonna start see you in a bit so it's Endabuna today guys cooking with Rani right, see guys, you as you can see I've got the pan on the stove I've already put the oil in so I'm going to add the ingredients one by one over there as you can see I've got eggs already frying away and I have to cook it because then the oil is going to like splatter everywhere and I don't want that. a bit of a shake and that's doing fine so I'm just going to cover that back up and then I'm going to start for it so I'm going to cover that up now I'm going to start so let's add the ingredients one by one so in goes the garlic and ginger first mix that all up in that with that we're going to add all the other things as well so it's through that nice crunch crunchy taste and I'm going to put this um, heat down slightly because we do not want anything to burn so now we're going to mix it all together nicely that brown and then we're going to add the onions so as you can see the onions are on in nicely very cute there can you see the onions as you can see the garlic and ginger are burning away nicely we need it to turn into a brownie color before I can add the onions so we're just going to let that brown and then we're going to do the next step as you can see the garlic and ginger has turned brown so i'm going to add the, the onions now so in goes the onions and the Give that a good mix. Give that a good mix. I'm gonna also add the salt, and I'll show you the amount as well of salt. Let's go in it in. So here's the amount. So 
There's the amount of salt that's going in. You can put that in. Give that a good mix. Cover this up and we're gonna leave it for about probably five to seven minutes and then come back and check on it as we don't want the onions to burn so we'll be back in about five to seven minutes and we'll see the next step then see you then right guys I'm gonna it's time to put the spices now so one by one I'm gonna add the spices because the onions have brown yeah have brown so it's time to add the spices now. So let's put them in one by one. And I'll show you the amount as well. So that's the haldi. Haldi, which is turmeric. We then have this, which I'm going to add. I always put shan masala, something, one or the other. Either a vegetable one or if I'm cooking a dal, then it's going to be a dal one. So here is the amount. I'm not going to add much. Just a bit. Give it that banging taste. So there goes shan vegetable masala. We next are going to add mixed curry powder. which is going to be that amount yeah. Just gonna, yeah. that all goes in we're going to give you a good mix so now we're going to let this um, spices all mix in and blend and let the oil come to the surface before we add the the content so I'll just quickly show you I wish I could but I can't so, uh, I'm gonna just cover that up and then we'll come we're gonna add the, the tomatoes now and goes the tomatoes cover this up and let this work its magic so we the oil to come to the surface before we can start adding the ingredients so we can come back and I'll show you added a little bit of water and you can see that the onions and the garlic and everything all and the spices are all mixing in really nice and well so still gonna leave it so as you can see they are coming along nicely the spices so what we're going to do is we're going to leave it for another like five to seven minutes because we want the oil to rise to the surface and once the oil rises to the surface then we know it's ready for to add the ingredients so but i'll quickly show you i cover it up for the next step so i'll see you guys there so anyway how so you guys as you can see i'll quickly show you a close-up and it's the oil has reached the surface so i'm just going to give one stir and then we're going to add the um, potatoes in nice we're done all mushla nicely mixed so i'm going to add the potatoes first so the potatoes go in so here we go one two I'm not quite counting them, guys. And it goes. Don't mind the surroundings. It can be a bit messy when you cook, especially in our Asian. It's always messy. There's nothing you can do about it until the cooking is finished. I kind of bleach everything down anyway. So, and look at them eggs. They're gonna go in next. These eggs are gonna go in next. 
before that I'm just going to mix this and we're going to mix this and we're going to leave this for about about four minutes maximum five so that it the masala mixes with the potato and then we can we can add the egg and our curry is going to be complete so i'm just going to cover this up and i'm going to leave it and we shall come we shall come back in a bit guys so i shall see you then cover and see you in five we're going to add the because the potatoes are getting quite soft we don't really want them to be too soft so i'm going to add all the eggs in now every single one of them and give it a stir and then garnish it with the um, garnish it with a bit of the meal which i have to get out from the fridge because of quarantine and buy it and then put it in the fridge so i'm going to just let this cover this up for a further minutes I don't want my buna to my buna to look nice I mean I don't want my buna to burn or anything so I'll show you the end result nearly done coming along nicely what do you think guys so I'm gonna cover this up and I shall be back in a few minutes to show you the end result so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put a little bit of water because i don't want it sticking so we'll just add a bit of water now not too much just a teeny weeny bit yeah if it's stuck on the side and give it a mix so i'm going to mix it yeah. right so we're going to let this uh, the the, um, sorry. we're gonna let the eggs mix in with the with the mushala I mean the mas yeah you know that this masala and then I'm gonna garnish it with the coriander and then that should be it my buna all done so I'll see you in a few minutes That's it. And there's a the puna. What do you think is that? You know, in the cotton section. Is that easy or not? That's the end result of my puna. Dimbuna. Dimbuna all done. Simple, easy, dimbuna. <laughs> 